Breaking news, Saints fans, Marcus May has been released by the New Orleans Saints. This is going to be a cap-saving move of about $1.2 million, which means New Orleans is roughly $15.6 million still over the cap. Welcome into Saints Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Trace Gerard, and just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to subscribe, because even if we're at an Airbnb trying to eat some dinner with the squad at... Uh, the NFL Combine in Indianapolis, we're still going to give you some awesome coverage. But let's talk about this move for New Orleans because I think that this is actually a really smart move. I don't think Marcus May ever quite panned out for the Saints defense the way that they wanted him to. Now, obviously, he came in from the New York Jets, had some suspension issues, had some injury stuff lingering and whatnot. But... He never quite lived up to the role that the Saints wanted him to fill in on the defense alongside Tyron Matthew. But I do think that it's worth noting here when it comes to the contract uh, savings, if the Saints would have designated him as a post-June 1 cut, they would have saved about $7.2 million and had about $2.4 million in dead money. However, they are going with the $1.2 million in savings keeping him a pre-June 1 designation. So yeah, that's the financials, that's the important stuff. And the Saints still got some work to do, but chipping away at that cap number. Uh, this breaking news did come in from Jordan Schultz on social media, so that's where we broke it down first. I did put out a tweet with my reaction, so that's where you're gonna get social media interaction and content. First is on my Twitter account, at TraceGerard48. Um, but in terms of replacements for Marcus May, I think that this is actually going to be a much easier replace or like a, a, a hole to fill giggity than a lot of people might think. Jordan Howden was stellar this past year. The rookie out of Minnesota had 43 tackles as compared to Marcus May, who only had 37. And in terms of pass breakups and coverage, I think Howden was a little bit better. You got five pass breakups. Marcus May only had two. Now, May did have two interceptions, but... He let a lot of plays get away from him. If you guys remember that Bijan Robinson touchdown where, I mean, it was just a five, six yard rush. Marcus May juked out of his freaking cleats. It was so embarrassing. He's just not a great defender that's going to fit in New Orleans. And I, I just, I like what I saw from Jordan Howden. I mean, he had a 67.0 PFF overall grade and a 65.2 coverage grade. Marcus May didn't even have 60 and either of those numbers. So, this is one of those things where I think that New Orleans knew going into the offseason that they needed to move on and get younger, have cheaper contracts. And Jordan Howden, home run pick last year, late in the 2023 draft. And he filled in really nicely when May was dealing with injuries or whenever they were rotating other guys in. So I think that you can expect as fans to see a lot more from Jordan Howden in year two than you did in year one. Now, I do want to make note here. Um, I love what I've seen from Jordan Howden, and y'all know me. I am not a Dennis Allen supporter, but I will give him credit where it's due. He knows how to develop the hell out of defensive backs. And at the end of the day, Jordan Howden is looking really, really good, and I'm excited to see what he can do. So show Jordan Howden some love in the comment section by typing JH. I want you guys to get loud in the comment section and root on our youngster because I think that he's going to be a young baller for a long, long time. Now, let's talk about replacements um, in other than Jordan Howden. I think Jonathan Abram is a guy that the Saints could look to bring back in free agency. Uh, in terms of the this, this, this statistics, excuse me, 26 tackles, one tackle for loss, a pass breakup, an intercession, and a forced fumble. And in PFF, they didn't grade him all that great, but he ended up with 77.8 run defense. And the pass rush is about a 60. The coverage is sub 50. Overall, it's not really that great either. A 93.2 passer rating or loud. But what I saw from Jonathan Abram as opposed to Marcus May is I saw a lot of energy and I saw a lot of charisma on the field. I mean, he was running around playing fearless as if he had nothing to lose because he knew he was a backup on a one-year contract with nothing but things to prove. And he, the Saints got the best out of him in the or the most out of him in a very limited sample size in only nine games this past season. So um, I do want to add that I think that you could also look to bring in some guys in the draft. Um, worth noting, Kalen Bullock out of USC did interview with the New Orleans Saints, as well as Jaden Hicks out of Washington State. Um, go check out their tape. They're both pretty interesting prospects, if you ask me. Uh, Bullock, in terms of the, the statistics, 
I'm having a tough, tough time speaking tonight, guys. Sorry. 63 tackles, two tackles for a loss, zero sacks, no interceptions, seven pass breakups, or one interception, seven pass breakups, and he did have a pick six. Jaden Hicks also had a pick six last year, which is pretty cool. He had two interceptions, four pass breakups, as well as 79 tackles. So these are two guys that I could see the Saints targeting in later rounds in the draft. Um, and at the end of the day, Marcus May just wasn't a good fit in New Orleans. And if you go back to a couple off seasons ago when they brought him in, they had a need and they needed a young veteran guy that could hold over the defense and take over when Tyron Matthew left. But... Marcus May was not that guy. I do think that Jonathan Abram could be an interesting prospect. I think that, or an option, excuse me. I think that Jordan Howden as well as, like I said, could be a really interesting option. But I also wouldn't mind going and bringing in another like prime free agent in uh, as a safety. I mean, I wouldn't mind spending some big time money on a nice free agent because like the Saints defense last year for me was so underwhelming because normally that is where team or where the saints are that's their bread and butter they should be thriving at the defensive position or on the defensive side of the ball and so many times last season i was more nervous on defense than they were on off when they were on offense a lot of times it was the other case but there was so many times like the falcons game the packers game the texans game i mean these were all just horrible showings of bad football on the defensive side of the ball so other free agents out there. I'm going to throw this one out. You might, guys might hate it. CJ Garner Johnson. He is a free agent. I don't know if I'd want to bring him back. He's talked some mess about the team, about the city. And I know a lot of Saints fans are very passionate and prideful of New Orleans. So a lot of y'all wouldn't want him back. But you can't deny the swagger and the moxie and the attitude and the talent that the guy has. Uh, Jalen Mills is a cornerback that could be, you know, an interesting target. Micah Hyde. There's a lot of really interesting options out there um, in free agency, but I do think that the Saints are starting to look at their cap numbers and their cap issues, and they're trying to kind of get out of that. You saw that with Cameron Jordan. They restructured his contract, but they didn't save as much money as they could have because I think they're trying to eat that money and you know start eating some of that. Stop kicking the can. Start eating the cap hit that they continuously put them in. I do think that this was a good move. I think it was an expected move. But at the end of the day, this is why you subscribe because we're going to bring you guys coverage every single day, 24-7, no matter what or where we are. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here at Nation. I hope you guys have enjoyed our coverage here at the Combine. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. Thank you, Houdat Nation. We'll see you next time. Y'all stay golden.